Greetings and welcome to the basement. This is the first video of a series that I'm going to do on creating an incremental game using Playmaker and Unity. Uh, so first of all, what exactly do I mean by an incremental game? Because there's a decent chance you might not have heard of that term. Uh, a lot of people will call incremental games clicker games. Common examples of the genre are adventure capitalist, hero clicker, cookie clicker, eggs incorporated, things like that. Um, they're, they're fun little games. And they're, they're kind of sort of the, I guess you could say, hello world of uh, modern game development. They're fairly simple and easy to make. Uh, now, you can put a fair amount of depth into these things. Um, and at least a fair amount of interactivity and such. I, I rather enjoy Eggs Incorporated, to be perfectly honest. But you can still make a completed, complete clicker game, or incremental game, and have it, you know, not take forever in a day. It's a good first complete game project. Now, as to why we're using Playmaker, uh, Coding can legitimately be very scary for people, especially when you've got all of these other things of trying to learn the Unity AI and understanding how uh, game projects work and stuff like that. So, yeah, there's nothing wrong with using it. And to, to be honest, also, I think it sounds like fun to try to make it uh, make an incremental game using nothing but Playmaker, no custom code. Even though I'm perfectly capable of writing all the code for this, everything will be done with Playmaker as far as the logic goes, regardless of how much headache that's probably going to cause me. Uh, so the purpose of this video is primarily a quick little introduction and to go over the setup. So um, now I normally don't work with Playmaker this crunched. I will usually have stuff off on my second monitor, which is over here. Um, but uh, can't really do that when recording. So yeah, I've got everything scrunched together. I would personally recommend if you happen to have two monitors, yeah, put the Playmaker stuff on the other monitor. All right, so you know, it's basically, this is just the default layout with uh, the actions, state browser and events over here, um, and globals, the state machine browser and the ecosystem over here. Um, I am not going to cover installing Playmaker, plenty of instructions out there on that. Um, I will just give you a reminder that remember when you install the Playmaker package from the Unity Asset Store, you still have to do the whole check for updates and install Playmaker again thing from within the Playmaker windows here to actually fully get the package. You can't just grab it off the Asset Store and go. Uh, also, all of the editor windows are found here for adding in additional windows. Now, what asset packages am I using with this project? That window kit over there. Thank you, window. Uh, well, obviously, there's Playmaker. Uh, Playmaker is the only paid for package that I'm going to be using f in this project. Uh, I was originally going to use the Make Your Fantasy Game package, which is honestly a really awesome package. But then I said, you know what, let's just go ahead keep this simple, keep it as low cost as possible. So the only one we got is Playmaker, $65. Um, honestly, even if you know how to code, I would say this is well worth the effort uh, because it gives you a fair amount of flexibility of doing doing things in a repeatable fashion. And it's pretty expandable and yet, you know what? I like it, it's a good system. All right, other packages that I will be using and have already gotten installed in Unity and will not be covering the installation of because that would make for a really boring video. Uh, Pro Builder Basic. Uh, we'll be using this to construct some interiors. Uh, Nature Starter Kit 2 for some trees and bushes and stuff for constructing our outdoor scene. Uh, use Free Rocks, again, for constructing our outdoor scenes and maybe a little bit of the ruins as well. Uh, use free concrete materials for when we construct the interior of the workshop. And the Necromancer GUI for some sprucing up our UI a little bit. Uh, I will also be referring to um, a spreadsheet quite frequently. I will also be using the spreadsheet to record a lot of information and refer to it quite frequently. Um, by the way, I normally try to avoid jump cuts in my videos, 
Uh, however, at the moment, I am trying to shake a really nasty cough. So rather than attempt the impossible and talk for 10 or 15 minutes straight without coughing, yeah, I kind of got to put jump cuts in. So yeah, there you go. And like I said, normally try to avoid those, but can't really do that right now. Okay, so let's just start with the spreadsheet here for a moment, which is probably really uninteresting to most people, but you really want to use these things. Uh, you don't want to jump into a game project, even something that is fairly simple without having written stuff down. Um, while you will probably not be able to read a darn thing on this, given how large my uh, cam uh, window is, I've got a rough outline of the things that I want to do for this project. It is an immensely good idea to at least write out a base outline, uh, just on actual physical, you know, dead trees, uh, because that will give you so much of a starting point. Uh, one of the most scariest things you will ever face as a creator is this right here. Oh, and whoops, speaking of this right here, I forgot one package that I'm going to be using. Um, you're going to need the ecosystem installed for Playmaker, so that way you can grab the UGUI uh, proxy package. I'm going to be using the UGUI proxy full. Uh, Playmaker out of the box does not have actions for the new Unity GUI system. Uh, so you will need to go into the Playmaker add-ons. Um, download add-ons because you won't have the ecosystem until you install it. Install the ecosystem package and then do a search for the UGUI package. And I would recommend putting on the uh, filter for packages here. Getting back to my point about scary things. This right here is probably one of the scariest things you'll ever face as a creator. A blank project. Your possibilities are infinite at this stage. Which is why this is a good idea. This makes things a little bit less infinite. This gives you, even if it's something fairly simple, it gives you a starting point. It gives you a uh, grounding point that you can use. Okay, so what are some of the things that you're going to want to do with this? Um, keep it simple. I mean, we're not doing a full game design document here. I'm just going to list things out, you know, fairly simple. So. Most of this work I'm actually going to do off camera because it would be kind of boring to see me put this all in. Um, I'm just going to go over some like the uh, general outline that I have at the moment. So I'm going to call this sheet. Um, I'm going to rename this to outline. And I'm just going to real quick in here. Overall goal. Gal. Goal. Um, incremental game with two resources feeding a third resource manual gather auto gather um, shipping from the two to the one now what else do I have here? Um, manual and auto gather upgrades, because it got to have upgrades, right? It's in the contract. Ah, because I randomly hit keys. Shipping upgrades. That's what I got here. Um, three locations. Workshop. Forest ruins. And a mountain mine. <coughs> and I would probably want to, and then off, like I said, off camera, I'm gonna create a couple new sheets and go over just you know a little bit more in terms of like, how do I envision the menu flow being and stuff like that. So, you know, it gives me a decent starting point. And that's all we're going for here is just a lightweight little bit of starting information so that way we have some initial guidance when we start creating things. 
So I'm going to do that off camera. And then once I get that completed, we'll dive into getting the uh, scene structure set up. So that way we can at least navigate through our scenes. The goal, the end of every video, is that we will be left with a functional project. That is our goal. So until next time, take care.